Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today's video is something a little bit different, but not. I also actually look brunette. Like, this isn't okay. I've got four more weeks. Four more weeks of the roots, guys. Four more weeks and then I'll be blonde again. Um, so today's video is actually a wish haul, which is very, very, very kindly in collaboration with Wish. Um, if you don't know what Wish is, it's basically like an app slash website um, that literally sells everything. I'm sure that if you watch YouTube then you've probably seen a lot of wish hauls in the past but they just sell some really random weird things. Like it's literally full of everything you can possibly imagine um, and it's all very affordable. So I will leave Wish's website and app etc down below and any other information that you will need. Um, but yeah, so it's a bit of a different video because I've never done a wish haul before, but at the same time, it's not that different because you guys know I love doing hauls and showing you what I've got and stuff. Um, so I've got a couple of bits to show you guys. Some are no use to me anymore, which is very frustrating. You'll see why. Um, and some stuff hasn't actually arrived. I think I'm still waiting for a dress, um, which hasn't actually turned up yet. But this video probably won't be going live for about two weeks from the day I'm filming this um, just because I have actually cut down to one video a week now um, so if the dress does turn up in that time I will obviously pop in a clip of me showing you the dress so a lot of people are, t are put off by Wish because of the long shipping like what's the word wait time I don't know um, I know a lot of people are put off by that but actually if you use Wish properly and use the filters and stuff you can actually select products that have express shipping so most of this stuff actually arrived within about two days um, obviously I am still waiting for a dress but the rest honestly I think it was all here within a week if that like I reckon five days I had everything at my house um, so yeah I don't know people are always put off by the wait times on Wish but you really don't need to be as long as you use the website properly and use the express shipping and stuff like that it's fine Another thing about Wish is that actually some products are actually free, um, you just pay postage, so the product is actually marked as like £0 and then you pay a £2 delivery fee and then you've got the product. So it's a really interesting website and there's so much on there, I would definitely definitely recommend you guys heading over to Wish and having a little look at all of the stuff. But I've been rambling for way too long now so I'm just going to get into it and show you guys what I picked up. So the first thing I actually got is an iPad. Believe it or not, Wish actually do sell iPads. Obviously these are refurbished iPads. I think they do have brand new ones on there. Um, but I picked up a refurbished iPad mini. It's actually run out of battery right now. Um, it came in the iPad box. It had an it had a Apple charger. Honestly, it was actually amazing. I was so shocked. I did not think it would be legit. Like, I'm actually shocked. Um, it came also came with a little case, which was really, really handy. Um, but it's literally just an iPad mini, like there's literally, like it's perfect, you would not even believe that this has been refurbished, there is no scratches on it, it literally looks brand new, the only thing I will say is obviously because this isn't a brand new iPad, it is slower than a new iPad, um, nothing that's like frustrating, you know when something's so slow and you just can't bother to use it, it's not that slow at all, it's just not as fast as a brand new iPad, but obviously that's completely understandable, it's a refurbished iPad, um, and I think this was literally like £100. I wanted an iPad for so long because obviously with YouTube and stuff I have to carry my MacBook around a lot and it's actually quite big and heavy and quite inconvenient. I'm not going to lie, I couldn't live without my MacBook now, like it's saved my life. However, it's very big. So when I'm travelling, when I'm staying at Tom's, when I just need some, like, something other than my phone, this is really handy. Um, I literally use this every single day, I'm not even joking. I've used this every single day since I got it. Um, it came completely refurbished, completely reset, no details, nothing on it. It was literally like a brand new iPad. But yeah, the only thing is that it's just a little bit slower than a brand new iPad, which again, like I've said, is completely understandable and what you would expect from a refurbished iPad, do you know what I mean? But yeah, came with a charger, came with all of the like little info bits, everything like that. You honestly would not even know that it was refurbished other than the speed of the iPad um, but yeah I'm really impressed with it and I was so excited that I finally got an iPad so the next thing that I picked up is this mini LED video light so I don't know if you guys will have seen these before but basically you know when you're filming a video well I mean you probably don't film videos but when YouTubers film videos they have box lights they have ring lights they have 
all sorts of studio lights. Today I'm actually using natural lighting because it's quite nice outside. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of like different studio lighting that you can use. Um, but when you're like vlogging or when you're in the dark or when you just need a little bit of extra light, it's kind of really hard because you don't want to just set up your ring lights for like two seconds. So I actually picked up one of these, which is literally a tiny little light that actually screws on. I don't know if you can see that. Screws on to my camera. You literally just screw it on. And it's like this. But look at the light of that. How good. But I guess even if like you just wanted this for makeup, like these are so much cheaper than ring lights. I honestly think this was like six pounds. I'm not gonna lie. I'll link everything down below for you guys. Um, but if you need some extra light to do your makeup, selfies. You know, like selfie lights. Honestly, this is so powerful and so bright for the size of it. You would be so surprised. And then it comes with a little, comes with a little USB like charger as well. Because obviously this isn't like battery powered. It's like charged. I don't know if that makes any sense. But yeah. I just thought this would be super handy for when I'm filming videos. It also has two settings, so it can be like that or that, depending on how you want it. But I just thought this would be so handy, and like I said, for using like um, lights for your makeup and stuff. I basically got it for travelling because when I go away, I do like to film. Like I vlogged this weekend with me and Tom, and we went away. Um, but you don't want to take your ring lights around and you don't want to do that. And like, if I'm on holiday and I want to film a get ready with me, I don't want to take my bloody ring lights. So this is just so handy just to travel around, keep it in this box, whack it onto my camera. Bingo. Okay, so this is where the inconvenient products that I'm no longer needing are coming in. So if you don't know, about two, three weeks ago, I was actually in a car accident. Um, we love that. My car actually got written off. Um, because of some inconsiderate driver, never mind, I'm alive and that is all that matters, but unfortunately I don't have a car anymore. But when I actually placed this order on Wish, I did have a car, and I ordered so many things for the car, um, which now are going to be no use until I get a new one. So I'm going to show you them anyway because I'm sure a lot of you watching this do have cars, and when I do get my new car, I will be using these, so... There's about three or four products here for a car that <laughs> I can't use. But the first thing that I picked up is these LED strips. So, I had a mini Countryman. If you don't know what that is, it's just like a big mini. Like, you know, like the sort of, it's meant to be like a 4x4. It's not as big as a 4x4, but it's like a big mini. Um, and they actually have LEDs built in. So, on my ceiling, on my door handles, and then I have like a tray in between my seat and the passenger seat. That was all LED and you could change the colours of it and I absolutely loved it, honestly, it was so fun. Especially in the dark. Obviously I didn't really get to use it much because it's been summer. Um, but when I drive in the dark, yeah, I turn my lights on and then they're all like LED. And that was actually built in to the car. However, I was in a Mercedes the other day and they had like strip lights underneath like your feet and I just thought it looked so cool. But yeah, so I thought, well, my car's already got LEDs. Let's jazz up even more and put more LEDs in it. So these, basically, I don't really know how I'll get them in, but you have four wires. So I guess you put two either side maybe, I'm not really sure. And they're just like these little strips and obviously they give off light. I can't actually show you guys because it actually plugs into your um, cigarette lighter thing, you know, like you've got the cigarette lighter, which obviously I can't show you guys, but I will insert a picture of a Mercedes, like the Mercedes style car that I saw had them, and obviously like the picture from Wish, but these are literally just going to stick, I think like here, I don't know if you can see this red bit, this is like sticky, so you peel this off, and then that stick, oh did you even see that, so you peel, hang on let me show you again, you peel this red sticker off and then this is sticky oh, I didn't show you again so it's like double sided sticky basically and you just stick that to underneath where your feet go and then you've got some cool LEDs and it also comes with this remote oh god this remote um, which obviously you can change the colours and stuff because my mini did have like multi coloured lights I could change them manually like above my head there was like a switch that changed the lights so it'd be cool to have these to match the lights that are in my car but obviously I don't have a car anymore but never mind. One day, hopefully, I'll be able to use them. The thing I actually got for the car was these, like, coasters. So, again, they're LED. You guys probably think I'm mental. My car's going to be so LED. Um, again, I'm probably not going to be able to show you these because they actually work, like, in the dark. 
um, but they're like coasters, so they actually have, you can, not personalise, but like it has all of the different car mix, so obviously I chose the mini ones because I had a mini, um, you can get ones with Audi, you can get ones with BMW, literally any car you can get those, and they basically sit inside your cup holder, so they're at the bottom of your cup holder like a coaster, and when it's dark these also light up, you charge them, but then they're like darkness powered if you know what I mean, so they work in the dark. Um, but I can't seem to get one to come on. I'll try and like get these to work when it's dark and I'll insert a video of them. But they basically flash just the same way the LED strips do. Um, again it comes with a, another remote here. Which you can change all the colours. You can change like how harsh the light is. They can flash. They can like smooth into different colours. But yeah, unfortunately if I don't get another mini I won't be using those. But if anyone has a mini feel free to take these off my hands because it's just making me really really depressed and I don't have a car to put them in um I'll show you the last thing I picked up for the car because it's gonna get really boring just talking about all the car things when I don't even have a car so I also picked up these hooks oh god who knows so these hooks go on the back of your chairs I'm sure you guys have all seen these before but they literally just go around your headrest and hang off the back so you can hang your bag and stuff on it Tom gets so frustrated because every time we get in the car I chuck my bag at him and he has to hold my bag and he just hates it so much so I thought these would be really handy just to go on the backs of our seats so we can just hang up our bags our shopping you know just like keep it off the floor try and keep the car a little bit tidier I also see people that put like plastic bags on these as a bin if you eat in your car like me and Tom we eat so much in my car um you can put a little bin hanging on these so yeah they were really handy and I literally think these were like 50p I'm not even lying um and these definitely came next day I remember these turned up the day after that I ordered them so yeah hopefully in the next couple of weeks guys I will have a car and I will pop all of these things inside the car and I'll do like a car tour or something like that for you guys to see it all um but I've got to find one first but it's really hard looking for a car when you just don't want a new one like I just want my old car back but yeah so that's all the stuff for the car which is obviously gutting but Everything's really interesting. I can't wait to actually like put them in and see what they look like. Um, I'll see if I can borrow Tom's car. Tom hasn't actually passed his test yet, but my mum and dad actually helped him to buy a car for his birthday last year. So he does have a car and it's just sat on his driveway, so I might just like use it. This video is not about my car, this is about Wish. Um, so yeah, they were all really cool things and they were all very, very cheap. Moving on, I picked up... What just happened to my voice? I picked up this Dermacol, Dermasol, Dermacol, I don't know concealer i'm sure you guys ages ago remember seeing this concealer everywhere it was always on facebook and it like apparently covered up tattoos and everything like that and me and my mom did actually use this for quite a while um but that was honestly maybe three four five years ago honestly like a really long time ago and i remember it being so like spoken about because it's so cheap i literally think this concealer was like two pounds and it was supposed to be the most full coverage concealer you could ever imagine but because that was such a long time ago, I thought I'm going to get another one to see if like the formula's changed or if it's improved or if it's got worse. Because I do remember it was really full. I didn't particularly like it. Um, it was quite cakey and it went really like patchy and creased. And it wasn't a very nice concealer. But let me tell you, it was very full coverage. But I just thought I would give it another go because time has changed massively. And I'm just interested to see what it's like now. So this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have 100% seen this. If you haven't, then you must be too young. Um, but let's just give it a go. I'm not sure what shade I actually got this in. I don't know if it tells you anywhere. I'm not going to put this on my face just because I have got a little bit of concealer on already. I actually look brunette. Guys, this is why. People always say, would you ever go brunette? This is the why I don't go brunette. Oh my god, it's still really thick. Oh, I should put it on my tattoo to see if it covers my tattoo up. It's so thick, guys, you would not even realise how thick this is. So I've just put that on my hand. Can you see that? Like, it's completely covered up my veins. I don't know if you can see that. I should probably test it on my tattoo, but I don't really want to flash, like, my... I'll do it on my ankle one. So, no, it doesn't cover tattoos, guys. It's definitely, like, greyed out. You can see I put it on this half, so it's obviously much lighter, but no, it definitely doesn't completely cover your tattoos. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely full coverage and it definitely works, but I mean, it's no better than like 
the other concealers however it is really cheap i would just be a bit worried about putting on my face because you just don't really know what's in it um but yeah it's very very full coverage um so i then actually picked up some more leds you're gonna get a bored of this video it's basically just leds um and these go around your tv so i actually got these for tom's tv um because shock i'm moving my room around again soon and i'm getting a new bed and it's all going to be changing so i actually got these you've definitely seen these on tiktok like all of the young kids have these um but this is just a smaller one and it basically sticks on the back of your tv and then you just plug it in and then voila it lights up i should be able to actually show you this one. No, it didn't so i don't know how you power these ones because this one didn't come with a remote so i guess it's going to be like this all the time Oh, okay, so there's buttons on the thing for you to control what you want it to be like. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but it doesn't come with a remote, it's just on the strip. You can choose what you want it to be like, you can change the speed, you can change all sorts. But I think I like this one, it's like white. So yeah, you just put them on your TV and then you're good to go. Um, again, they were super cheap, like major, major cheap. I am actually at Tom's this week. Um, his family have actually gone to Greece, so we're at his house this week, just like house sitting if you know what I mean um so I'll pop them on his tv later um so you guys can see and I'll insert a clip of what they actually look like and I'll try and borrow someone's car to put the leds in and stuff like that I am just editing this video and I completely forgot about this so I'm just going to quickly show you it's basically like a makeup storage unit I don't know if you can see it's not the greatest one thing has already come off um but it's really handy so it's just makeup drawers basically um and then in here you've got like a sliding thing this is a bit i loved literally i really want like a nice perfume collection i've literally run out of all my perfumes however i've just ordered loads from zara so i'm hoping to empty this out and fill this up with some zara perfumes because i just thought that would look so nice in there like the little plastic door and then on top you've obviously got all of these compartments too so i've just put all my makeup brushes in there i've got some change in there because i don't know what else to do with it my like scissors tweezers pencil sharpener and then I've just put my hair bits up here. But it's just so cute. And it's actually a really good size. It's not too big. But at the same time, it's not too small. Um, like I did say, I am moving my room around. And I'm hoping to get some drawers that I will pop this on top of. Um, but I just thought this was really, really cute. I think this was actually a little bit more pricey. I think this was around £20. Would I say it's worth £20? I'm not sure because this has already broke. Um, but size-wise, yes, 100%. And it's been really, really handy. But... Yeah, I just completely forgot to show you. But yeah, that's everything I picked up from Wish. I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you so much again to Wish for actually working with me on this video. I really appreciate it. And I had so much fun like choosing everything and seeing what was on the website and stuff. So yeah, if you haven't checked out Wish before, I will leave a link in the description below so you can check them out. You will not regret it. I promise you. It's so much fun. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you next week for another video. Ciao.